they were all gathered there. And they asked Ezra the scribe to bring the book. To bring the book of the law of Moses, which the Lord had given to them. The people understood the one man in this nation who knows the Word of God better than anyone else is Ezra. In Ezra 7, verse 10, it says that Ezra devoted himself to the law of the Lord. He set his heart to study the law of the Lord and to practice it and to teach his statutes and ordinances in Israel. And so for 14 years, Ezra has been digging, digging into the Word of God. And so now on this occasion, they call for Ezra and they cry out with one voice, bring the book, bring the book. And this is what is so desperately needed in churches today, a spiritual hunger in the, in the pew to cry out to the pastor, bring us the Bible, bring us the Word of God. And the people need to begin to cry out, pastor, could we have fewer announcements? Could we have more Bible? Pastor, could you tell us less about the culture? Can you tell us more about the Bible? Pastor, could we have fewer stories about your children? Give us Bible. And Pastor, would you fire the drama team? Give us the Bible. Talk to us like an adult. Pastor, could we hear less about the building program? Could we hear less about the budget? Could we have more Bible? Pastor, could you shorten your introduction to your sermon and just get into the Bible? This is what is needed. And as you go back to your churches, if we're to have a revival like what we see in Nehemiah chapter 8, it is going to be incumbent upon each and every one of you to cry out to your pastor, bring us the book, bring us the Bible. That's where this begins.